Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about what I keep in my bag on a daily basis, specifically the things I keep around me to maintain a low waste lifestyle, a zero waste lifestyle, if you will. If you're new here on my channel, I to talk about sustainability and specifically practical tips that can help the average person live a more eco-friendly lifestyle day by day, little by little. If you're new here and that's something that interests you, make sure you subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into the bag that I have. So the bag that I use is by a company called Charlie Feist. It is made from vegan leather and recycled plastic bottles. Now if you already have a bag that everything you need fits in, you don't need this bag, but I will tell you that having a bag that everything you have to carry with you fits in is super 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 helpful. I used to not carry a bag with me on a regular basis outside of like my daily work life. And so whenever I would go out to places, I would often forget things because I would have to remember to take my fork with me every single time I left the house and carry it by hand. Whereas now that I have this backpack, my little fork set kind of lives in here and I don't ever forget it. So we're going to get into that. I specifically love backpack, the backpack, a backpack, because it's on your back and you don't really have to think about it. It's not on your side kind of clunking around. You're not going to put it down and forget it because it's just right here. And I don't know, I think it's a lot more efficient and it helps me a lot. So let's see what the first thing at the top of this is. So the first thing I pull out is my wallet that is attached to this bag. So when people see me carrying this, they don't know what this is. They're like, why do you have a mini life raft on your keys? Um, this just carries my house key, my uh, little Chico bag, and then my wallet that a subscriber sent to me. So this is a bag by a brand called Chico Bag. Basically is a collapsible, reusable bag. So I have this with me at all times because you never know when you're gonna find yourself in a new store, in a store in general, you run in to get something, you run to the store to get a couple things and you forget your bag, whatever it is, this thing has saved me many times. So it is a pretty good sized bag, I do say so myself. It can fit quite a few things, it's like the size of a regular single-use plastic bag. Uh, it is bright red, so that's it's hard to miss it. When it's not on your key ring, you realize it's not there. So basically, you saw me how I took it out, and it's just as easy to put it back in. And then it looks just like this, and then it just lives here on my little key ring. So that is the first thing that is in my zero waste bag. The second thing that's actually right on top, I guess because all of these things are pretty light, is my reusable produce bag of bags. So this is also by Chico Bag, and inside of here are three reusable, like small snacks size type produce bags but you don't have to only use them for produce bags I use them mostly for like bulk bins so if we are out downtown we stop by like a store that does have a good bulk section I can just pull one of these out get like some nuts or almonds or dried fruit or whatever it is and put them in here I don't keep it on my keys because there are some places I take my keys like to work every day when I'm taking it not this bag and I don't need the produce bags so that's why they're kind of detached and just floating around in this bag I'll link all the stuff I'm talking about in the description box if you guys think this would be something that could be helpful for you it's really cool I love this little thing the next thing I have that is literally such a saving grace everyone needs one of these you don't need this one but you need a reusable bottle this one is skinny enough to fit into my bag and it's not in my way it's not huge and bulky this is the one by clean canteen it has a bamboo lid and it is completely stainless steel it is plastic free and you just open it like that a lot of places around your city or town or whatever it is will be open to you putting your own water in this if you're going out to eat or something like that you can use this mostly I use this for water not really anything else but a reusable water bottle is super, super key, not even if you're trying to reduce your waste, just if you're trying to stay hydrated, especially in the Texas heat. The biggest thing I carry in my bag, I don't always carry this particular one, but it is a three-tier stainless steel Tiffin. This one is big, obviously, but it is good to keep with you if you don't know where you're gonna be throughout the day. So a lot of times what Madison and I do on the weekends is our biggest joy, or like our biggest draw outside of the house is food. So we'll go try new vegan restaurants, we'll go try things like that we'll get up in the morning and go get breakfast and then go thrift shopping we'll go dumpster diving we'll go swimming whatever it is and then we'll end up going and eating again so I can keep three separate things in here to keep them separated if they're different foods if they're different temperatures if one of them is kind of more fluid than the other so it doesn't touch all the other stuff 
This one is big, but it doesn't weigh a lot, which is why I like carrying it around. But I did put a couple other alternatives right here to show you guys some other things that you can carry. So I also have this single stainless steel little Tiffin thing. It looks just like this. It's a lot smaller than that one. Um, it's good for one meal. If you know you're only going to be out eating one meal, you can carry this guy. And then another one you can carry is this one right here. This one is... Uh, glass so it's a lot heavier that's why I don't carry this one on a normal basis but it is covered in silicone so that way it won't break it is gonna weigh your bag down a lot more if you're only going specifically out to eat like if you're leaving your house to go out to eat then you can definitely use one of these and it won't be a big deal next thing in here is a reusable straw which these straws are super cool I just found out about this brand called eco tribe they sent me these and I am doing a giveaway for them over on my Instagram so definitely go follow me there but I've been carrying this one around actually for other people so it comes in this perfect little bamboo carrying case brush for it fits perfectly in there which is great because a lot of times my friends and family say how do you clean these straws and then I just say like that and it makes it a lot easier to keep it in this little bamboo carrying case so I keep this one for my friends and family and then I also keep this one in here which is the little compact thing that I carry everywhere with me nowadays it has a fork, knife, spoon, chopsticks, and my straw right there. So you guys don't have to buy this one specifically. I did get this one off of an Etsy store, and I will link her below. But there are tons of other brands doing the similar thing, and you can go and buy just a little to-go wear thing with a spork in it. Like Madison, I just recently got her just a bamboo spork. has a fork on one side, a spoon on the other, and that works perfectly for her. She never uses a straw because she only drinks water, and she can always drink that without a straw. But one of those little utensil kits are so helpful to avoid straws and spoons and things like that. I didn't realize before I got one of those how often I probably use plastic utensils, but now I realize because of how often I see other people doing it and I have to remember to get my utensil set out how much I would be using plastic if I didn't have one of those. So definitely if you don't pick up anything else out of this, take with you a to-go fork or spoon or something to avoid all those little plastic utensils. This right here is super cool. I got one of these in a Karen delivery box, like a camping subscription box that I had when I lived in California because I was super into camping at the time. I got this in one of my subscription boxes and it's meant for camping to keep it very compact and to unfold it whenever you need to get water or you're making coffee or something like that. So sometimes when you're out and about there might be a place that's trying to give you a plastic cup or a styrofoam cup and again I can just pull this out. It compacts so well. You take the lid off so that it doesn't, uh, the air can go through it and it compacts into something this tiny. It's so small but it can come in such handy whenever you're out and you don't know where you're gonna be and you don't know what is gonna happen <laughs> that makes it sound like your life is like Jumanji or something but these can help you reduce your waste a lot and I'm doing a giveaway for every color that hideaway has this is by a brand called hideaway bottle they're doing a giveaway with me over on my Instagram once again a lot of giveaways this month for plastic free July so go find me over there and enter this giveaway if it's not up yet it will be up shortly next thing in here is just my sunglasses I have green eyes and colored eyes are apparently more sensitive to the Sun uh, I didn't know that something I learned recently but I also just keep these around because they are bamboo so they are not made of plastic frames they float really well and I think they're pretty cute uh, they're by a brand called tree tribe and they plant I think it's 10 trees per purchase I'm not sure but I will link them for you guys they're very easy to wear, they're lightweight, not a big deal to carry around, especially in the little carrying case that they come in. They actually also come in a little bamboo carrying case tube. I don't carry that around with me everywhere, I just keep them in this little sleeve. But it's definitely important to have for eye protection, wrinkle prevention, comfort just in general, so you're not squinting all day. So I keep these in my bag at all times. And that's everything that's in the big part of the backpack. And then out here in the small part, I keep just a couple things. First thing is my phone, which uh, yes, I have a Pila case, a compostable phone case. If you guys haven't seen my review on them, go check it out. It's an awesome company. They're doing amazing things. And again, I'm doing a giveaway for them over on my channel this month. They're gonna be giving away three of these cases to three of you guys, so check it out over there. But yeah, it's a compostable phone case. I have to have my phone. Had this phone for like four years now. I absolutely refuse to replace my electronics until they are done, and then I'll buy a secondhand one. So that's, that's what's up with this, guys. My little iPhone 6 holding in there. 
praying that it holds in for a lot longer. Something else I found, oh my god, at Whole Foods the other day, it's called Simply Gum Natural Mint. It is biodegradable gum. It really helps me focus at work. I wasn't chewing gum for a long time because I knew it was so bad for the environment, but then I switched to this after I saw it at Whole Foods, and it's amazing. It's biodegradable, so I don't feel as bad about it, but it helps me focus so, so much. So I do keep this in my bag all times. Burt's Bees Chapstick. This is a chapstick that I have not been going through, like I haven't finished in a long time. I'd say I've had it for like months and months that I bought it in an emergency when I was sunburnt and my lips were so chapped and I just couldn't stand it. You guys know the feeling once your lips get chapped, it's the most awful feeling and you just want to relieve it. So I did buy this one in a pinch, but I have been using it since then and it is in a plastic container and of course it has beeswax. I will be looking for a compostable container next time I buy one, but I love Burt's Bees so much and um, I really don't really want to give it up. I don't know, I might rethink that. I'm going to be doing a greenwashing video on Burt's Bees soon. I'm going to dig really deep into their ingredients list, their history, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, but yeah, I keep that in here because I hate having chapped lips. It's like the worst thing. And then I just keep sunscreen. If you couldn't tell, I am a pasty white girl. This is the one by All Good. It's in a really small container. It is SPF 50, which I appreciate. But this is just for if I end up being in the sun and I didn't expect to be. I can just take this out, mostly put it on my face and my shoulders is where I focus it. Um, it is a really, really small tin. That's the only thing that kind of bothers me about it, but it is plastic free. It is reef safe and I think it's biodegradable. Yeah, it's a great sunscreen. I have a video where I tested this one out. If you guys want to check that out, I will link it in the cards. But yeah, that's going to be it for everything that's in my bag. That was the last thing. Those are super, super key items that I think everybody needs if they're trying to reduce their waste. This can help you out a ton. All of the things I talked about today are reusable things you can take with you to avoid waste pretty much at all costs. There are some things you can't avoid in life like food packaging, but the things I showed you, you can avoid. If you can afford to make these swaps, I highly recommend that you do it and check the links in the description. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram so that you're in on all the giveaways that are happening this month. And if you're watching this in the future, I'm sorry. Go follow me on Instagram anyway. I like to do giveaways over there. If there's something I forgot to put in my bag that you think I need or something that you use that's like super essential to reducing your waste, I'd love to hear it always up for new zero waste swaps either if I'm going to do it for myself or share it with a friend or family or share it with you guys because you guys might need something. Let me know and remember until next time you cannot do all the good that the world needs but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye guys.